you know, orchestra hits in music should probably be used sparingly. And I can't say I like this stage select theme as much as the other one. Among other things, it means it's not nearly as easy to move my cursor to the beat of the music. Salute on this, this is Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man X. In the last episode, we defeated our final Maverick, Sting Chameleon, who was a bit of a nuisance, shall we say. And now, we can actually start doing the Fortress stages if we want to. But we're not going to head off to there just yet. We have a little bit of preparation to do, and also something that's actually a secret item that I would like to show off, even though I'm probably not going to use it. So let's cut to the part where that is. Alright, here we are at the end of Armored Armadillo stage, and we have this wall here that I mentioned before. It is possible to get up here without jumping off the platform, but that is the easiest way to do it. Just attempting to show that you can do it without, there we go. And there's actually a Dr. Light capsule up here. That wasn't there when we played through the stage normally, now was it? I give you a special present, now enter the capsule please. If we go in this secret fifth capsule... X doesn't seem to change at all. But, as it demonstrates, we can actually perform the Hadouken now. That's a move from Street Fighter, which I think was also made by Capcom. Unfortunately, there are some qualifications for it. You have to, for that to even appear, you have to have full health, full sub-tanks, you don't have to have full weapon energy or lives, and you also have to die a few times before going up there. Like, I had to kill myself off three times. I've heard varying information on that, three to five or so. But anyway, we got it, and I'm also not very good at performing it. I think the, it's down, down, forward, and then forward. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> you know I've never liked fighting game button combo mechanics. This is a perfect example of why. Yeah, screw that. That's also another reason why I don't use it. See, if you can pull it off and feel like using it, the Hadoken is nice to have because it'll actually one-shot anything, including bosses. So potentially very overpowered. But you not only you actually have to be at full health to use it, as it, and as you saw, I'm not very good at doing it. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled fortress stages. All right, let's get into the fortress stages for real this time. And we start off with zeros talking to us. Let's split up. That always goes well. I'll go in first and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. So here we are in Sigma Stage 1. Let's see if I can actually do that Hadouken thing this time. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Can I actually try it on something? And insta-kill. So, Sigma Stage 1. I might have mentioned before that for the most part, ah darn it, the Maverick stage in this, his stages in this game tend to be a bit on the easy side, barring a few specific sections like certain sub-bosses and that one shaft with the spikes and Boomer Coiner stage. They're usually pretty easy aside from that. It's generally the bosses that'll be giving you most of the trouble. Oh, uh, I just throw another one. Dang it, keep throwing those things back onto the screen. Ah! Leave me alone! Well, when it comes to the fortress stages... Eh, uh, not so easy. I think there's a huge difficulty spike once you get to the fortress in this game. And honestly, Sigma Stage 1 in the first Mega Man X is probably actually one of the most annoying fortress stages in this series. I mean, it's not as bad as, say, Mega Man X6's fortress, and... I think the last stage of Mega Man 8 was also pretty nasty, but it's up there. For instance, oh crap, that was bad. Yeah, there's that part for one thing. I'll talk more about that once I get back to it. I guess I could just use Storm Tornado on these things, but they're not that difficult to deal with. 
especially if you can get off a fully charged shot at him first. I do love large uh, or projectile with large hitboxes against enemies with no invincibility frames. So this spot is full of those enemies with the spike chins that hone in on you and fly toward you and just generally get in the way. And use the rolling shield. I found it's the best way to get through this part unscathed. Now, it is possible to do it with just the buster. I have done it before. But it just hardly seems worth the trouble. Just use the shield. It'll make your life a lot easier. See? Shield can take these things out without even getting destroyed. Okay, why did my dash button not work there? Yeah, small moving platforms and homing enemies are just not a good combination. There we go. I will say one thing about this stage. It does have good music. I quite like the music in this one. Anyway, that's over. I know we have some of these things to deal with. That one's in kind of an awkward location. Ah, I didn't dodge quite soon enough. And react to the wrong attack. Well, this corridor is certainly packed full of enemies. Uh, once again, didn't dodge soon enough. Okay. Oh, hello, Vile. I didn't miss you. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. And if we walk up to the door... Sounds like a battle going on in there. And this isn't even the stage boss, we're only halfway through. Uh, Zero, that doesn't look like it's going so well for you. X, do what I tell you, or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him! Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. And sure enough, once again, we have a hopeless boss fight. Doesn't matter what you use, you can try special weapons, you can... I wonder what the Hadouken would do to him. I assume nothing. But yeah, there's really nothing, nothing that we can do here. And it takes longer than it did the first time because I have the armor upgrade and all the heart tanks. Pointless battle is pointless. And we are stunned. And suddenly Zero can break out, apparently. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Activate self-destruct sequence. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. But suddenly, full, el uh, full health! What the? Where did that energy come from? The power of friendship. It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated! Okay, I actually don't remember what this guy's weak to, so... We're just gonna use the good old Mega Buster, I guess. Ow. And hopefully not get hit by more of those things. Sheesh. You know what? I may just have to start trying weapons, because this is getting kind of ridiculous. Electric spark, maybe? Uh, let's see. 
shotgun eyes? Boomerang cutter? Eh. Just stick to the basic weapons. This is one of those bosses that I feel like I should be better at that than I am. And another good occasion for not having the dash button map to eight. Okay, do we have to watch the cutscene again? I think the electric spark did extra damage to him, but I'm not positive. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and do that. I mean, that was... Two damage, at least. And it keeps my... hand free for dashing. Try charging it. Wall of electricity. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't remember if this, if this is actually his weakness, but it seems to be working, okay. Yes, die, vile. Yeah, X, you're not looking. So well, Zero's looking even worse. X, I've taken too much damage. Why is his mouth bleeding? He's a robot. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. Well, anyway, now it's time for the second half of the stage. And if you expected things to let up, nope. You know what? You know what the charge version of the chameleon sting does? Makes you temporarily invulnerable to everything. And also rainbow colored. Of course, that means the only weapon you can shoot while like that is the chameleon sting itself. But that's pretty much the only way I've found to get through this part of the Whoa okay. Using a sub tank, I don't even care. Yeah, that part of the stage right there. I don't even know how you're supposed to get through this without taking Freaking case in point, I don't even know how you're supposed to get through that without taking a hit. So, Chameleon Sting works. Okay, the second half of the stage wasn't as long as I remember, but... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the boss, this is Boomer Coanger, because... Yeah, in addition to all the other stuff we have to deal with in this stage, we have Mr. Telefrag. Fortunately, we have his weakness now. Hello, Boomer Coanger, I have a bit of a surprise for you. Yes, be destroyed by vicious, voracious robofish, you wretched dunspawn. Homing missiles will seek you out. Yeah, that was a lot easier than the first time. Say that much. So why are we fighting Boomer Quanger in Sigma Stage 1? Well, the first Mega Man X game is like the first classic Mega Man game in that it's the only one to not have a teleporter room for all of the boss refights. They're sprinkled throughout the fortress stages. And the first one we had to take on, of course, was Boomer Kowinger. Oh hey, Mets. Speaking of the classic the classic series. And the stage still isn't over yet. Fortunately I don't recall this third part being too much of a problem. Sure wish I could get some. 
energy for my sub tank, though. Holy crap, enemies everywhere. So many enemies, it's actually causing lag. But here is the real boss battle. Finally. And just like everything else in this stage, it's annoying. Say hello to the bow spider. The way it works is... It'll... It has those crossbars that it'll go down, and it, it always changes direction when it gets to one of the crossbars. It can also spawn these little baby spiders. Now the problem is it does that so fast it's really not very easy to read its movements. It's pattern based, but... Oh, and it gets faster the more you hit it, too. It's weak to the shotgun ice. The shotgun ice kind of sucks for taking out the little spiders, so... Yeah, this thing's just all kinds of fun. And by fun, I mean... not fun. Use charge shots if possible, because then you'll have to deal with it for less time, and... It'll have fewer opportunities to just come down and, and do that. Yeah, like, this is actually a really interesting idea for a boss fight, but the fact that it moves so stinking fast means you can't really even predict where it's gonna go before it's too late, like that. Okay, that was bad. I could be using its weakness, but... Okay, well, at least I didn't get hit there. Well, that's an easy pattern. Well, and the pattern's randomized every time, too. Yeah, I hate this thing. <laughs> this thing is a pain. Let's try getting out its weakness. Interestingly, Shotgun Ice actually works decently against Boomer Kalinger, too. I think I said that already, but I don't remember for sure. The fact that it has that ricochet... Actually... Whoops. Okay. See, there's just no way to get out of the way in time. That seems to be working decently. Anytime it gets out the baby spiders, I'll switch back to the buster because, like I said, the... Uh, ah, darn it. The ice isn't super great for... hitting the spiders with... I love it when it just goes straight down. Yeah, I feel like doing this boss perfectly would require better reflexes than I have. Just so gall darn fast. Okay, just one more. And got it. Okay, I guess that wasn't too terribly bad. I'm glad I decided to use the ice on it though. That deals three damage per hit, so <laughs> it's probably easier to hit with than charge buster shots, surprisingly. But anyway, first fortress stage done. And we can move on to the second one if we want. Eh, that, I don't like that stage. That, that stage is just annoying. <laughs> and, and if you've been watching my Mario and Luigi Cola Kingdom Quest LP, I recorded this the same day as the Ice World of Doom, so... 
Uh, that was a stressful morning, yes. Anyway, with Sigma Stage 1 down, I will do, I will see you in the next Fortress Stage in the next episode.